one. Thank you for choosing Starbucks, Christina and team. What can I get started for you? Good morning. Can I have a venti ice shaken espresso with white mocha, extra caramel drizzle, and a splash of heavy cream? Extra caramel drizzle? Yes. Okay. And Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Have a good day. Thank you. I'll see you at the window. Same like she just said, have a good day. <laughs> hey, how you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Can I have a straw if you don't yes. mind? Thank you. Thank you. No, oh, I guess she don't even put it to you to ask if you want a tip because usually they'll give you the little, you know, the machine, ask if you want a tip or whatever. And honestly, I don't like that they do that because why have we, can't, why are we now, like, I'm that type of person that if you put it in my face and ask for a tip, I'm gonna feel obligated to give you a tip because I'm like, now I will feel wrong to press zero. So I at least gotta give you, I don't think I ever do a dollar, I do like $2 or something. But I feel like why are we getting to that now? To the point where we go to a drive through place and we're at, like we're already paying for our food. Now y'all want us to give y'all a tip? You know what I'm saying? I can understand if we was, you know, eating out. Okay, yeah, we've been doing that since the end of time. Tipping your waiter. But now you want us to do it at the drive through No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, Pam. No, what is it? No, ma'am. No ham. No turkey. Let me taste this. I'm sorry, y'all cricket. Let me find out what I'm gonna eat, y'all. Hold on, then we gonna taste test. All right, y'all, we about to taste test. Y'all wanna know something that's so embarrassing that happened to me? Like, this was like, I wanna say maybe like two years ago at Starbucks. So I didn't know when you go to the Starbucks drive-thru, I didn't know that they could actually see you. I didn't know they had a camera. So y'all know I deal with eczema. So at that particular time, I had eczema real bad under my arms, like my armpits. So it was like summertime and I had on a tank top, y'all. I was just in the drive-thru, like going like this just itching away y'all itching away and as soon as i stopped itching i was waiting for them to like you know saying hi can i take your order and i was just doing this and as soon as i stopped itching they came to the um intercom and i could hear them laughing and it was like you know trying to say through laughs how can i take your order and then i had saw something online where they can actually see you because they have like a little camera and i just saw it when i went to starbucks anyway Let's taste test it. So what I got was a venti shaken espresso, white mocha, heavy cream, well, splash of heavy cream and extra caramel drizzle. It's good, but what hit me was that flavor of the coffee. It's good though. It's very sweet though. Um, the reason why I went to Starbucks today, y'all, because y'all know usually I just pour my own coffee at home. Remember, I had got this in my last vlog, y'all. The stock cold brew coffee extra bowl. When I tell y'all that be, I be, uh uh, I can't. Mm -mm. You got a little girlfriend at work. Come you on. always want to go to work. Like, yeah, Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Those are men. <laughs> y'all, I had to go to Target real quick. I ain't bring y'all with me. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because it was a lot of weirdos in there. Kept staring at me. Like, I know I'm in there looking like a bum, but excuse me. I'm not going to spell. Anyway, let me show y'all what I got. So today I have to go to a funeral. Um, of course, I'm not going to bring y'all. But I had to go get a shirt and some cards for someone passed away it was i don't want to say he was my friend because it's not like somebody like i was friends with i he was like friends with my sister and i knew him like we hung out together a couple of times so of course i'm gonna go to support so i had to go get some black shoes y'all i had a really hard time finding shoes because y'all know my feet 
So I had to get these little black eight-year-old shoes. So I had got some black shoes. And I just grabbed a black shirt because I do have black pants. I got this just this regular black t-shirt, something simple. Um, so I got that. I also did grab me a pen holder because I had one in the office room, but it was like a set of three. It said like markers, pens, um, pencils. So I wanted one just for pens for whatever, honestly, just mix it all together. So I bought this. I got some bobby pins y'all because my tracks are no longer stitched. It's time for it to come out. And I got some pens. This, these are my favorite type of pens right here. They are the best. Yeah. Um, I got some candle lighters because y'all know I did buy the electric candle lighter, which I do like. I do like it. I like that I don't have to worry about the fuel ever, you know, being gone. But yeah, I'm just still adjusting to it. Like, I don't know. You know, it just ain't nothing like this. I feel like it takes a little bit longer to light the candle with that one. Unless the one I got just cheap. But yeah, I got some candle lighters. And then I got some cards. Um, I got a card for his mom. It says, gone too soon. There is no way to lessen the sorrow of losing a child. But please remember others care very much and wish you strength and comfort at this sad time. And then I got a card for his daughter. I believe she's eight. It's hard to lose someone you love a lot. Just remember there are people who care about you and what you're going through. And then I'm gonna put a little monetary gift in there for them. And then I got a card for my mother. I can show y'all cause it's gonna be after Mother's Day when I um, upload this video. Cause you know, Sunday is Mother's Day. So I got strong mothers raised strong daughters. Because you raised me with confidence, strength, and determination, I know that I can face any challenge life brings my way. I've always been able to count on you, and no words can ever say how much that means to me. Thanks, and happy Mother's Day. It's a real cute car. I love the colors. I love the inside of it. Yeah. So, it is currently 11-11. Like that show. It's 11-11, and I need to probably be leaving here around... Well, my sister said that they were gonna like meet up around 12. So I need to be leaving here. I don't know. Maybe like 11.45. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Now y'all, it is currently 12 o'clock on the dot. My sister called me and said that she, uh, we could just meet at the funeral home. No, the I don't even know what the place is called, like where you have funerals. Is that the funeral home? I think it'd be like at a church. I don't know. Where they're having the funeral at, we're going to meet there. Um, I'm all ready, you guys. Let me show y'all. I ain't got nothing no special, honey. Designated place where y'all can see me because you definitely can't. <laughs> can y'all see me? Let me turn the light on. So these black shirt that I just showed y'all from Target. I just, <laughs> it ain't working out, y'all. Cause my camera don't go like it's I don't know whatever. Anyway, this is how I look, <laughs> and these are how the shoes look. They don't look too bad because the pants are really like wide leg. But I need to put the bobby pins in my head. Cause when I say it feel like the tracks is about to slip out my folks, about, about to slip out the scalp, honey. It feel like it's about to slip out the scalp. Where is the track at, Lord? Maybe I should put it this way because I feel like, is this the track? No, that's not it. Y'all, this hair need to come out ASAP, Rocky. And my face breaking out, y'all, from me doing my makeup last vlog. Cause I really don't be doing my makeup like that. Like, y'all don't see me in makeup too often. Look at my face. Yeah, so this got to go, honey. I need to do a, um, I don't even know what I need to do, honestly. I just, I got, I gotta just use my pimple patches because, or maybe it's time to clean your brushes, Yvette. Maybe that's it. I need to just clean my brushes because, or is it the makeup? I don't know. But I don't break out like that. But I'm breaking out now. Where is the, y'all, I'm trying to find this day on track, honey. Because this show is flapping in the wind. Oh, my battery about to cut off, y'all. Now I can't find it. You wanted to be all shown. 
Why do you want to not stay in place? Why you don't want me to be great? Huh? Oh, here it go right here. Do y'all see this track? Right here. I don't know about, I, don't, I can't see what y'all see, but it's right there. It's supposed to be stitched down, but it's up. Okay. Y'all, like, oh, did it come out? It sure did. <laughs> Okay, before my camera go dead, y'all, the other the lady that I told y'all about that I wanted to do my hair, she responded. So we have a hair appointment. <laughs> also, y'all, I know I got a whole lot going on. I'm, I'm sitting here filling out the cards, but this drink, y'all, this is how much I drunk. I can't drink no more. Okay, it was too sweet for me. It's good, but it's a drink that's like too sweet. I can't. So it's going in the drain. <laughs> hey y'all, good morning. Um, yesterday, y'all, I did not even come back on after the funeral because it really wasn't too much to show. Like after the funeral, me, my sister, and two of her friends went out to eat. And then we came right on home, honey. And I came home <clears throat> and I was so tired. So I just relaxed for the rest of the night. And um, the funeral was nice. I didn't cry as much as I thought I was gonna cry. Like I started crying when other people started crying. And then like, you know, when they would tell stories about him, but I liked that most of the time when people were telling stories about him, it was always that he was so funny because he was like, he was just a funny person. It's, he's the type of person that you meet him and you would think you know him forever because he makes you feel so comfortable. It ain't like no weird, like awkward talking. Like the first time he met me, he was like, hey, that, that. And he's been calling me that ever since he knew me, since day one. So he will be missed. But um, today we are, so today my friend is coming in town. She lived here for years. She moved to Georgia. And she's been coming here like quite often, but every time she comes, we can never meet up with each other because it's like our schedules are just not aligned. So she messaged me like two weeks ago and was like, hey, May 13th, is that today? May 12th, she was like, May 12th, 5 p.m. What you doing? So we're meeting up today at five. We're just gonna go to, nothing special, y'all. <laughs> nothing special, like just gonna go, hang out for a little bit just a couple of hours and where is my phone so right now you guys i have something to tell you i have been fearful of, of filming a podcast episode and i don't know why it's just like i just been so in my head about it but now i'm to the point where i cannot keep being in my head about it no more like I just gotta do it. I can almost cry talking about it because that's how fearful I am of it. And it's just like, ugh, why am I feeling like this? It's not like I haven't filmed a podcast episode before, but it's just, that's why I keep stopping because I just be, I don't know y'all. I just be so in my head. And I really start realizing how much I be in my head because I be thinking I'm good. Like, all right, I'm good. I ain't got no fear. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do this, 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 this. It's up. Wing. Fear, what is that? And then I be, I be fearful, scared, shivering around my boots. <laughs> so I'm gonna film a podcast episode today. No if, ands, or buts about it. Okay. So this episode, that y'all, this vlog that y'all watching, is gonna be up before the podcast episode. But I'm gonna film a podcast episode today. I promise y'all. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Go ahead, do your finger with me. Yeah, we pinky promise. I pinky promise I'm gonna film a podcast episode today. Right now, I'm about to go to the store with my son. I'm gonna go to Target and take back this, um, well, get this taken off. Because I do want these pants, but these got this, this gotta be taken off. And um, probably, I'm trying not to say it too loud because he gonna bug me. I'll probably go get something to eat with him. I might not sit inside, but just like take something to go. And um, yeah, so I was trying to find something to wear. Today, because it's supposed to be 81 degrees, y'all, and I I don't have any clothes, you guys. I don't have any clothes. Like, the clothes that you see me wear is just literally like this shirt. I got this shirt. It says influencer on it. I like it. But look, it's got a stain right here that won't come out. So it's just like everything with my clothes is just always something. So these are shirts that I would just run in the store with for something, which I really need to stop doing, y'all, because people be looking at me. Let me show y'all what I got on. 
Okay, no wonder they be looking at me like I'm crazy. Let me show y'all. How do people be doing the... I don't know how people be doing it. Well, I guess they just have a bigger tripod that they show y'all on. But look, I got this shirt on and then this black, these black sweatpants. Some tan socks with some dirty yellow Crocs. But these are my favorite Crocs, y'all. They're so comfortable. You know your Crocs comfortable when you break them in, child. You got to break them jaws in. They they comfortable off jump. But once, they, you, once you break them in, oh, it's like clouds. I'm going to take this bag. I don't have a target. No, I might have a target bag. Let me see. Like this. One thing I hate is when I'm making a return, and I know it shouldn't matter. Like it really shouldn't. I do have a Target bag, but I hate bringing it in a different bag. Outside, like a Target return in a food line bag. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that for some reason. But I have a Target bag, so we good with that. I need to find it on my app, so when I get there, I can have that already and pull it up. Um, so that's the vibe today, you guys. I <laughs> See, this is, well, this is not the reason why I be scared to upload podcasts and stuff. But my very first podcast, if you watched it, it was, the title was 28 years old, four kids and three baby daddies. How did I get here? Now, I know I said all about to leave, but I just had a comment come through on it. And randomly, I'll have comments on it. And this is how you, this is, this is when you know who you are and you don't care what anybody else say and when you put your truth out there and you already know like okay i did this i'm not saying i'm proud of it but i have to live in my truth what do you want me to do drop the kids off like i can't somebody comment said kevin samuels the man was legend he was 100 spot on have a nice day and i'm guessing he's trying to be rude with that comment because you know kevin samuels always says something about like a woman pretty much not being worthy because um uh they want a high value man when they have different things going on but one thing about it two things for certain honey i don't care <laughs> i do not care at all what anybody think y'all and i was not always like that um as far as like putting my truth out there it was a point where i was ashamed of it but my thing is if you you just got to live in your truth. I don't care. I have a story behind me, okay? And I'm not saying I'm proud of it. Trust and believe. I would never be like, oh, my daughter, it's okay for you to do this. No, little girl. We ain't doing that. Uh -uh. It's just something about being at Target that just makes you feel good. Hey. <laughs> the hospital. She said that her knee felt broken. You can go ahead and choose one of the Dove ones. Love yeah, these right here. I guess if you want to smell which one you like. While he's doing that, you guys, behind me. So y'all know I chose this for our bathroom, um, but I actually have like this. We have this one and this one smells so good. But in the boys' bathroom, they have a foaming dispenser. So what I'm gonna do is get one of these and then pour it inside the dispenser. So probably I get. This is the Vetiver and Amber. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the other one better. So I want to get some. I know they have some. I'm trying to see if they have it. It was like some teenager. So maybe this one. I can try this one. Hold on. I don't think it's here. Play kids. Because my son needed inspired by kids, perfect for all ages. Why I look like this? <laughs> it's an all natural deal now. Is that good? Where did Tim's at? Tim's? Tom's, whatever. Oh. I mean, it smells good. This one is called Sunshine. I kind of like the way that this one smells though, the sugar, but it don't have no cap on it. So I'm like, this is my you? I'm going to get this one. I'm going to try it. See how this goes. $11.99. Jeez, I love it. Okay. Yeah. 
it's an all natural deodorant. Bold and smooth. Yeah, this is what I need. Now I'm at Home Depot. No, what is it? Yeah, Home Depot. <laughs> I was about to say, is it Home Depot? I just want to see what chairs they have, honestly, for like outside on the porch. I know they have some out here usually, but the chair that we was having outside, it really wasn't like an outside chair. It was just like a chair that I bought. <laughs> so now it was like a black cloth chair and it's all faded. So being that I like sitting on the porch, I just wanna see what they have. God damn, $30. I don't expect them to pay that. Cause I definitely just saw some at, um, what's that store called? I just saw some at um, Old Time Pottery for $19. Let's see what they got inside. I had wanted to get these. I might get it this summer, y'all. A cooler to put on the porch so that when the delivery people come, I could just put stuff in there. And then maybe snacks down there. I thought that would be cute. But, um, I think there's a lot of expensive stuff in here, baby. Oh, no, they got some more jewelry. It's not really... Is these chair? Oh no, baby. Uh -uh. I see forty dollars. I think I'm about to get a little chair of twenty nine. It's on my ah. That's the cheapest one I see up there. Twenty four ninety nine. Those I like. Y'all, you know. why I just see this girl that my my um one of my baby daddies cheated on me with. <laughs> Y'all, I swear, I be like, listen, when I see people from my past, baby, you won't even, I won't even flinch. Uh, you know, you know how when you see a stranger or whatever, it's just like, you just be regularly, be like, oh, okay. You don't do no double take or nothing like that. It's just a stranger. You walk right past them. That's exactly how I be. Make them think like, is that her? Is that her? Because she ain't act like she know me yet. I don't know you. Who I was then is not who I am now. I don't know you, baby. 3.50 so I'm gonna be heading out soon y'all I need clothes so bad so bad like it's to the point now where it's ridiculous but honestly with this outfit it's more I think it's more so of um I don't have any well I think with this outfit it's not bad because like it's not a bad outfit, right? Like, I'm gonna show y'all. It's not a bad outfit and just some blue shorts. But what's throwing it off is these shoes. The fact that I cannot wear sandals right now is really throwing all of my outfits off and I'm sick of it. So, I'm gonna make me an appointment to get my feet done. And I'm gonna just ask her to put an acrylic on my toe. Because let me give y'all a visual demonstration because I'm not showing y'all. Okay. So this is a toenail, right? <laughs> this bottom part is where your cuticle area and this top part is where the top of your toenail is, right? So this is how a normal toenail looks. All on the left side, all on this side of my toenail, it was bruised up. I'm thinking, I told y'all, I think it got bruised for me being on a Stairmaster and like hitting my toe hitting the tip of the stairs so that was bruised up it's been like that for months and months and months and months and months i got tired of looking at it and it was starting to hurt more so what i did was i took a nail clipper and chipped away all of this right to my best of my ability. I couldn't get all the way close to the cuticle, but I got as far down as I could. So now this is how my toenail looks, okay? This is how it looks now. This, th this area right here, that's just skin. This is how my toe, this is the toe, the, the nail part. So if I was to go get my feet, I don't get acrylic on my feet. So if I was to go get acrylic, imagine how that's gonna look, y'all. I can't get no French tip. And if I was to get just a solid polish, y'all, I'm a little stupid. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just ask her, can she put the acrylic up there? Because it's not growing fast enough. And you know your toenails grow slower than your fingernails. So anyway, y'all, I said I can't deal with this no more because I have plenty of sandals. 
the, I don't have a lot of sneakers. I can't keep wearing sneakers, okay? I look like a dead on little boy. It's not my thing to wear sneakers all the time. Anyway, child. <sighs> now that I look at it, I'm wondering if this is a foamy soap dispenser because I don't know what made me think it was. Maybe because how it looked. And I thought it was just a foamy one. But let's hope it is, honey. I, show, I think it is. Okay. So this is the one that I have in their bathroom. It says, wash your hands with your nasty towel set. Ooh, can I pour it in there? Just straight like that though. How my hand eye coordination? Oh, oh, ah. I wanna go to the movies, but it ain't really nothing in there that I would wanna see. I know the a thousand, what is it called? A thousand and one with Tiana Taylor came out, but I ain't really in the mood for that type of movie. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm pouring bubbles. Do y'all see it? This is really irritating. Ain't no movies. I'm really, I am like, y'all, have you ever? Is it on? Oh, well, I guess. This thing seems broke. Probably is the keys. Y'all, I don't think that this is a, um. What made me think that this was a phony? I mean, it still gets the job done, but. Yeah, cause it ain't foaming nothing. It's just spitting out. It's just spitting out. You know what, child? They'll use it. Washing nasty hands. Anyway, that show I was telling y'all about from. At this point, I need a camera to follow me. <laughs> that show I was telling y'all about from, y'all. From is so good. It's on Prime Video. To me, at first, it was giving the vibes of like. The Walking Dead, because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So if you don't want to hear this, then just skip along. But I'll tell you where to skip to. But for me, it was giving vibes of The Walking Dead because it was like about people that were in a town and that at nighttime, they had these things that came out in town. Should I pour this stuff back into this? Or should I just leave? It? You know what? I'm gonna just leave it. Anyway. Okay, so you know what The Walking Dead, it was like, once people get killed, then they turn into like these little zombie type things that will kill you. And then you have to shoot it in the head. That's the only way you could, sh that's the only way that you can actually like kill it. So with these people, they only come out at night. And the way that is only in this town and the, what happened was these people was like, I guess they were going on vacation and like they got, um, they got lost. But the reason why they got lost is because whenever you hit this town, like if you're traveling and you hit this town, it will, it's no way to get out. You literally will keep going and not even circles like you can be going down a straight road and next thing you know you're back in the town you can make a u-turn next thing you know you're back in the town there's no way to escape the town so it's these people that's in the town already they all ran into the same issue they were traveling came into this town and now at nighttime it's these human like people that will literally be outside talking to you you will think that these people are real people and the moment they get next to you they turn into like zombies and they kill you so everybody in the town at nighttime they know that when the sun is setting you have to go in the house ain't no ifs ands or buts about it but the people that be walking around outside trying to kill you they'll actually knock on your window and talk to you like why you just won't let me in like talk to you like a normal person why you just won't let me in i won't kill you i want to be your friend like on one episode this dude a, a simp he uh, it was one of the people outside the window and it was like a girl like you know a cute little girl and he, She was getting all in his head telling him he loved her. I mean telling her telling him She loved him and all this other stuff and he, She was just like one day he came to the window and she was turned around with her back facing like this 
And he was like, what's wrong? Like, and he was, she was just like, I'm tired of being out here. You won't let me in. Da, 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 da. And he was like, if you, will you promise that you won't do anything if I let you in? And she was like, yes, of course. Y'all, he let her in and they started kissing. And he, she was like, you know, hugging his back, kissing and stuff. And her nails turned into these long, like, claws, like sharp claws. She dug into his back and then she was kissing him and bit his tongue out his mouth and, and killed him. So that's what the show is about. However, the reason, at first I was like, this is giving the walking dead. But what made me really like it was that now the people that's in the town, that's like real people, they have something about them where they're communicating with whatever this is i don't even know what these people are called that be killing them zombies or whatever like whatever it is they have it's some of the humans that's in the town where they have these things communicating with them and they'll tell them to do certain things they were like if you don't do this i'm gonna kill such and such so it started getting interesting because it's just like what the heck is going on so it actually has two seasons and i'm on the second season um the first season is all on prime video the second season, you ha it's still on Prime Video, but you know how like you might be on Hulu or something. Or what is Hulu a good example? I guess you know how like sometimes you might be on Hulu, but you could watch shows that might be on different networks like CBS or whatever stuff like that. So the second season is on prime video however you do have to have a mgm which is the name of the app you have to have an mgm subscription to be able to get the second season which is like you get seven days free and then after that i don't know how much it costs but the first season is in prime video it's included with your prime prime amazon prime subscription so if you're interested in something like that check it out and also the guy that's in it the main character he was one of the people that was on i don't even know his name he a black dude he was on um oh no what was i saying oh i was trying i got a text i was trying to find the dude <laughs> uh i'm weak because my friend told me that i was scatterbrained and i'm like lord i really yeah all right the main dude harold parano whatever hold on wait is that his real name? Oh yeah, Harold Perrineau. I don't even know his name all from. Boy, oh okay. This is how he look, y'all. Y'all know this man, he, oh, The Best Man. That's the name of the show, The Best Man. Yeah. Oh, y'all should watch that too. What, what's The Best Man on? Because you know The Best Man had movies and then they actually came out with a series. And, um, no, is it called The Best Man? Yeah, The Best Man. They came out with a series. I think it's on Peacock. Let me see. Yeah, Peacock. Watch The Best Man, The Final Chapters. That's a good show, too. Got Nia Good, Nia Long in it. I'm about to say Nia Good. Nia Long in it. She looks so good, y'all. Her husband dropped the ball. He dropped, he dropped the ball. And how you gonna cheat on her with the woman that helped move her? Like, men just... Anyway, child, my friend said 6 o'clock, so now I'm going to really be walking around looking stupid because it's 4.06. I could have been in my bed. So what y'all want to do to kill time? Because one thing I can say I need to do, I would prefer to go to a TJ Maxx because we do have a Marshalls over here. Oh, we do got a Ross too. I don't know. Ross in there. Do y'all remember when I was telling y'all that I had bought a phone holder for my car and then it broke and then i took it back to get another one i took that another one back and then it lasted probably about a couple months if that because it ain't been a couple of months since i got it it broke so i prefer to go to tj maxx but i need to go get me a phone holder because i can't keep oh it's a birdie in the my dead birdie i can't keep holding my phone like this y'all like this is not how it's supposed to be vlogging or i'm just trying to you know i can't keep looking down i don't like that so i think that's where we're gonna go we're gonna go to tj maxx and kill some time since my friend says six o'clock i told her she won't gonna be ready at no five o'clock it was three something y'all three something and she told me some yeah i'll meet you there 
I'm about to take the kids to go jump for an hour, you know, to the little trampoline thing, and then I'm gonna go take them to eat. Who you gonna meet at five o'clock? <laughs> it's already three so <laughs> I knew she won't go make it, so we'll see y'all. But I need to go get me a phone holder so we can go do that. Just to kill some how many times I'm gonna say it bye. Y'all, we got our phone holder. And I got one other thing, you guys. I'm going to show y'all in one minute. But let me prop this joint on up on the thing. Hold on, wait. I still got to put it like this. And then turn it like this. And then we in here like this. <laughs> I got this. A whirlwind fan. I was like, oh, that looks neat. And it's only... It was only $9.99 and I was like, okay, let me see how that, what's that about? Because I did have a fan. I've been running into the issue of like when I'm doing my makeup, I be having to just find some paper, an envelope, something to be able to fan myself when I dry down my concealer or my satin spray. And I used to have a fan, but my son took it because he always complained that he hot in the bed so he took it oh it's a little cute little thing too it says rechargeable oh ah. it's definitely not like y'all see I'm, I'm this is this is the highest level and you see it's not like blowing my hair and stuff so it definitely would be good just for my makeup. Like not to be out and about and like, oh, I'm hot, I'm hot, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is, maybe it doesn't have a lot of battery life or something. But this is a bladeless fan. So it does its job, I'll say that. We gotta get on going because the place usually is like 30 minutes from me or from where I'm at, but it say it's gonna take an hour. And that's probably because of traffic. And it's currently 510. 5'10. Y'all. <laughs> Do anybody else just work watches for the look of it and not for the actual detail time? Because baby, listen. Where is my phone? I need it. I need the numbers. Not no dead on analog, whatever it's called. <laughs> Alright, bye. Buenos dias, y'all. I'm walking around looking homely. <clears throat> I'm trying to find one of my glasses so I can make me some coffee. You know what I was thinking, y'all? I was wondering. I was on oh, a shoot. Why is my camera? Yes. Why you call my name so much? You sure I'm your mama? You not sure? No. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Do I have any glasses in here? Yeah. I have one. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Uh, I'm a little sad. My camera is definitely broken. Well, it's not the whole camera, it's the lens. Hold on. It's not the whole camera, it's just the lens. Sorry for the noise in the back, y'all. The twins, they were getting on my nerves. I'm frustrated. I'm like, listen, just watch TV. But it's not the whole camera, it's just the lens. So I'm gonna buy me another lens. I found one on Amazon, the exact same one, but it's refurbished. But it says that it's like, it was like a part of Amazon Renewed Store. So they pretty much like take lens and renew them and then they like give you 90 days to pretty much test it out. But the lens is um $130. So yeah. 
So I'm a little upset about that because y'all know my camera been kind of taking some falls, but it ain't never break. And now it finally broke. So, and I do have another lens, but that lens, and it does, it is compatible with my vlogging camera. However, that lens is such a big lens. I'm gonna show y'all. So this is the lens that was on my camera. Y'all see it's broken. You see, it's, it's like, it's not retracting or going out because it's like bent. So, yeah. And honestly, I don't even think that it was bent this bad at first. I think that it tried to like retract back and then it got stuck because at first, when y'all first dropped, it was just like unfocused, like it was trying to focus. And then when um, I took the lens off and put it back up there, then it was like it didn't recognize the lens. So I think that it tried to retract and it wouldn't come back out. So it's just stuck now. So this is the other lens that I have for my other Sony camera. This is for my big camera, the one that I use like for my podcast and everything like that. But this is so close to your face. It's not meant for vlogging. Like I literally had my arm all the way extended out here. Like right now my arm is all the way extended out. Y'all see how y'all see everything behind me? Went with this lens, my arm was extended out. The only thing you could see was my face. That's it. So that's not you know feasible for vlogging so for the rest of this vlog i'm just gonna have to use my phone go put that back please i'm gonna just have to use my phone and i'm gonna have to order a new lens I he asked me how much did it cost so i don't know if he's gonna like purchase it for me maybe for mother's day i don't know but we'll see but it said if i order it today it'll get here monday which i kind of i definitely need it for next week because I want to film some content I'm just so upset that happened like <sighs> so y'all I'm on my way to sorry for the, the shakiness I'm in my car yeah <laughs> my phone you know I'm on my phone cause my camera broke and it's gonna shake but um we are on our way to me when I say we me and Kaylani because every all the boys went to the barbershop <laughs> Only one of them getting a cut, but he took all the boys and Kaylani stayed here with me. I guess he was trying to give me a little bit of a break. But um <laughs> what's wrong? So me and Kaylani is about to go to the store and get my mom a gift for Mother's Day. So she did mention that she wants some sunscreen, which I see y'all. <laughs> This thing just a moving. My mom said that she wanted some sunscreen, and I did buy her some sunscreen before, but she. I don't know what happened. Oh, she said she gave it to my sister. My sister never gave it back. So she wanted some sunscreen for when she go walking. So I'm going to. I don't know if they have the Fenty. We don't have a Sephora in my area. But we do have a JC Penney's that have a Sephora in it. However, when I go on the Sephora app and like try to see like you know how I tell you if something is in stock, it never tells me with this Sephora. So I'm like, is it still here? First of all, but I don't know. So we're gonna see today. And yeah, then depending on what I can get out of there. Yeah, we just gonna go from there. Okay, 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 okay. I'm hungry though, y'all. I'm like, my stomach hurt. Like, well, it's like I feel nauseous because <coughs> I need to eat her. I'm hungry. Y'all, I think away. I think they took away the Sephora because it used to be right here, oh. and now it says JC Penny Beauty. I think they took it away. Y'all, look at me. Look at my dick on tire, and I don't think. Oh, is it through it? I don't even know if it's like, if I try to rip it out. <sighs> this is not the day. This bag right here is super cute. Huh? The back. 
Bye. 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 This thing's $16.99. You like this one? It's $16.99. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. What about this one? What about these two? Vlogging with her there it was just, I'm gonna show y'all how she was in the day one. Car. Oh my like, girl, you just so embarrassed. Anyway, let me show y'all what I got. Oh, I hate having a vlog on my phone. It's just so different. Like, anyway, so I got some things I, I was going to get my mother's gift, but I got some things I wasn't supposed to be getting. So I got these plates for the twins. I liked how it had a mixture of girl and boy colors. They were $3 and I got some bowls also because they were $3 because we don't have any bowls for them. Um, I got these laser focus um, supplements. I wanted it yesterday when I went, but they didn't have it. And But it said it was in stock online and then I went today, they has a lot. So I'm thinking maybe it was like a shipment or something. I also got some cups for the twins because they keep pouring out their milk in the cups that they have. So I like these cups because all you all they do is tip it and it comes out, but it can't spill. Yeah, like they can't just dump it out. Y'all, I had to get this because I was like, oh, this is so cute. This workout cup. So this is the shirt. It's really stretchy. And then here are the shorts. I really like, and they look small as hell, but <laughs> they stretch. Um, I really like Joy Lab um, workout clothes from Target. That's the same brand where I showed y'all I got that romper from. I really like they stuff. They stuff seem like it's cool. Now, this is what I got from my mom. So, I got this skirt because she liked to go walk in the morning. That's where she she worked like she goes walk almost every morning on the beach. So I got this workout skirt, but underneath is shorts, but it looks like a skirt. And I just got her a oh, I did not mean to get the medium. Dang it. Anyway, I got this shirt. She should be able to fit it because right now I have on the same shirt, but it's in a small. So she should be able to fit it because my mom is not bigger than me, y'all. I'm bigger than my mom, but she for some reason she thinks that she can't fit stuff. Like, I don't know, but I got her this black shirt. I wanted to get her a white shirt with it, but I honestly think the shoes that she has, I bought her some black Karachi. So I was like, mm, it can match with this, you know what I'm saying? Black shirt, you know what I'm saying? You know the babes. So I got her that and I got her an eyebrow pencil from Benefit. The This is the same one that I used because I remember her saying before she wanted an eyebrow pencil. And then I got her this Simple Modern insulated cup this is a 32 ounce and i figured that this would be perfect because my mom do always be carrying around water so now she can carry around the water and it stays cold so i'm gonna go ahead and put everything in a bag for her you guys i got a bag that says best mom ever so i'm gonna put everything in a bag Ooh, if I sound a little drained, it's because I am. I have not eaten a thing. I only have drunk, drunken, dr drank. I've only drank coffee. Drunken, drunken not a word. I've only drank coffee today. We about to go get something to eat from this place called Bay Local, hopefully, because last time we went, it was i did vlog it before the last time we went it was for my mom's birthday i'll um put that vlog up there if you're interested but is it up there or up there i don't know because it's different on my camera so i don't know it's different on my phone but anyway um last time we went it was like really hold on babe put your seatbelts <laughs> what um last time we went it was super packed well well it was packed and then when we when i put my name on the way we, we had a hard time finding parking but i feel like that's mainly because where it's at it's like in a little like a um a strip shopping center and it's the last restaurant on the strip 
so the parking is not really good because it's like it's just small i'm gonna show y'all y'all we got a close park yes all right let's see what this great time is waiting for hey, I Oh, yeah, because if it's nasty, I'm not going to want to sip on it. You ready? Oh. Oh. It's good, but I can't drink it in one shot. It's like the shot too big. It's like more than the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, we are out of there. Food was amazing to me. He said he liked everything, but what? Oh, his steak should have been medium well, and it was well done. But everything else was good. I really enjoyed it you guys and now on top of the food i love the service like the service was immaculate okay the waiter was nice she was just you know friendly and then not only that it's like anybody that walked past us if it looked like we need something they stopped and asked us that we need something or if we was finished with a plate like we got an appetizer or you know it's like say for instance we were finished with a plate anybody that walked past us just grabbed a plate no matter if it was just your waiter or if it was just somebody else so i like stuff like that because you know sometimes when you go out to eat it's like your plates be stacked up and ain't no, no one is taking the plate unless it's like a bus boy where that's his job or your waiter but other than that nobody else touching your plate or if they're not your waiter they not they don't be concerned with asking you know are you okay unless you ask them like hey can you get me such and such but on top of that this is what stood out to me so let me go back first yesterday when we went out when i went out with my friends we went to this place and the place that we went to i know that they already put gratuity in the tab however what they try to do is be slick and not tell you gratuity is in the tab they just go straight to the they bring you the little kiosk thing and they go straight to the tip section so you can leave a tip but they don't tell you gratuity is already included so when i caught on to it before the lady was like well gratuity is included but the gratuity don't go to me it goes to the business i don't care who it goes to if it's not going to you why is it included in there because that's not fair as a person that's you know at your establishment you want to charge a gratuity for everybody in there and then you want to get an extra tip on top of that no like that's the whole part of running a business like usually you tip the waiter we don't we not double tipping over here you know so anyway i said that to say when we was just in there gratuity is already included and when the lady came to take our card to pay she said you know 18 percent gratuity is already included you have the option if you want to leave something extra and that's how i feel like it should be they should tell you that gratuity is already included because now i might leave some extra but when you try to be conniving about it now you ain't getting nothing so yesterday that's what happened when we was out the girl tried to tell me that gratuity was not already included and i could not see the breakdown of it i was only on the tip page so I asked her twice. I said, gratuity not included? And she was like, no. So I left a $10 tip. When I got, I purposely got the receipt printed out, it said $12 for gratuity, and then plus I left an extra $10. So when I said something to her, she was like, oh, I don't know what that is. That I don't get that gratuity. I don't care who get it. So she gave me back my tip in cash because y'all need to figure that out. Y'all need to have a team meeting or whatever, but don't, I, I no. We on our way home. I'm tired. I hope I can take a nap, you guys. My dad is taking us out to eat to hot tuna tonight. So I'm just getting spoiled today. So I didn't even eat all my food, y'all. But guess what? It's going to get a between today and tomorrow. And then at hot tuna, I'm going to get some oysters and probably some she crab soup. But yeah, when I get home, hopefully babe lets me take a nap. Yeah. What do you mean hopefully she's take a nap? Because you know the twins probably be up. What time you go out? 7.30? 7.15. 7.15. So when you get back, they'll be in the bed. But what I got to do with my nap? 
You mean now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm in my car. It's grainy, you know. I already explained to y'all my camera. But y'all, I'm finally on my way. I had to stop um, on my way to Hot Tuna. I went home, laid down. I was planning on taking a nap, but I didn't even take a nap. But I just stopped and got some um, a car for my sister because it's, I told you it's my sister, my mom, and me. So I already got my mom gift. I tried my best, y'all, to glue on that tissue paper. Baby, it's look a little raggedy, but it got the job done. I did order me a new phone, um, a phone stand for my car because y'all, this one is already being raggedy. Like it are, see, see? So I just was like, let me stop trying to be cheap and go the cheap route and go to TJ Maxx and pay $7, which I should go get my daggone money back because y'all should be, there's no reason why it ain't working. Like I want to put my phone like this so I could, you know what I'm saying? So it could be full screen versus like this. You know, so it's just irritating. But anyway, you guys, I got my sister some flowers and a card. And I wanted to get my mom some flowers, y'all. But no flowers was expensive in Walgreens. And I'm like, I already got her a gift. And I wanted to get my sister something. So I was like, I get my mom a gift, a car. I'm going to get my sister a car and some flowers. And that's just going to be that. I'm already kind of running late because they took forever in there in Walgreens. Like, dang. And the man was up there trying to check everybody out all fast. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to rush. Bear with me, y'all. My I do. Okay. So <laughs> he was trying to rush. You know, he was a heavy set man. So you know what I'm saying? You know when you got so weight on you, it carries heat, baby. Trust, I know. <laughs> so he was just up there sweating. Dang, it like it's traffic. <laughs> So I have the thing set up now. I like it. It's very much sturdier. Like it is not gonna like switch positions while I'm driving, but it does shake a little bit, of course, because you know you're going over bumps and stuff. And my car is an older car, so it's not like the smoothest ride. So yeah, but nonetheless, it's doing its job way better than that TJ Maxx one. Anyway. I'm on my way to get something to eat. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get something to eat from Zaxby's. Um, and I also want to go through the car wash right quick. Because, see, I should have. I want to go through the car wash because my car is dirty. Like, it got bird poop on it and all this other stuff. But I do need to vacuum it. But I do have trash in here. So, I got to figure out a way of where I can vacuum around the trash. <laughs> And then um, when I get home, I can get rid of the, um, well, I could put the trash out, the event. You also, you guys, I have just been having like a very slow day since it's Mother's Day. I kind of just wanted to do what I wanted to do today. Um, of course, the kids are still around. So, yeah. But honestly, I wouldn't, want have, I wouldn't have wanted to bring in Mother's Day any other way other than having my kids around. Because they made me cry today. Babe gave me a card that was so sweet. He gave me a card from him. And then he got a card for the kids to sign. And then my um, eight-year-old, he goes with his, dad's on, his dad on the weekend. So I did talk to him this morning. He told me Happy Mother's Day. It was so sweet. Kaylani came and gave me the cards. <laughs> you give me a card? Thank you. <laughs> what do you think? I'm looking at something Come on. Okay. No, I'm going to read it. Okay. Oh, wait. It says... From Elijah, Khalil, and Kelani. Okay. Hey, that's my Oh, thank you. <clears throat> you as a mother is an honor. And thank you for being there for me. <laughs> so that was so sweet so i just i am my, my heart is full um 
you know i would have loved to have a relaxing sad sunday for mother's day but i just know it's not realistic like when you have kids and your kids is home with you all the time like you know when i say all the time i mean like with my eight-year-old he go with his dad on the weekend so i get a little bit of a break but like when you have kids that's in the house all the time with you you really don't get a break unless it's on the weekday when they in daycare and school so i am gonna start a petition for mother's day to be on a weekday what y'all think about that it's like no i'm playing i ain't doing it. is this the, well, i think this the turn i hope this the turn because this got me turned into olive garden but i oh sh that was not the turn god dang it they need to have better instructions can i get through here i think so because they need to tell me like no turn here for the car wash you know those places that have like you know what i'm saying it's just a little weird it's a little wonky it's like too close to other establishments so you don't know like is this the turn or is this the turn i'll be needing a sign to say no you turn here but i'm going to get a car wash because i do have a membership to where i pay 25 dollars a month and i can get as many car washes and vacuums as i would like so that's what i am about to do hello and you just drive right on in honey the little thing come up and you get a car wash car wash Where can, i really don't like this car wash though they have like different ones is he telling me to come up? No, he's telling me to go over. Okay. Okay, Google. <laughs> they were taking nature out. She was neutral. Hands off the brake, foot off the wheel. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> All right, y'all, we about to get a car wash. vacuum my car i'm gonna go to the first one so i can zip on out of hell you feel me hello i'm sorry about that what can i get for you today can i have the sandwich combo yeah what's your drink Sammy. um it's gonna be a sweet tea I'll break it off here. can i get extra fries mm -hmm. and i want like a side of cane sauce please and that's it Do i have a name for the order yvette i do want to catch up in your bed no thank you Right. It is going to be 1461. This is cashier card. Card. Okay, maybe the girl, I was about to talk mess to y'all, but maybe the girl was like on a bathroom break or something. Because they have, they got two lanes, but they had somebody out here taking the orders. They didn't have nobody like coming from the intercom, but it was only one person. So she literally was going like to this lane, like from the first lane to the second lane to the first lane to the second lane, taking people orders. But she wasn't like doing it. Uh, she wasn't alternating. She was getting all the cars down in one lane and then coming. She would come to me. But now I see maybe the girl that was supposed to be in my lane. She was on break or something. Or something in the bathroom or something. But anyway, I'm about to get this food. I always have. To, well, not always. Why am I lying? I do not always because this is the first time that I did it. I had to get some um, extra um, fries because they been giving you like three fries. What am I doing that? We got the goods. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Feels very light. But I did see that I do have a, a warranty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call Sony and see if I can get this replaced. And if so, then I'll have two. 
but let's prepare. I hope this is everything. Just please let it be what I needed to be because I don't have time. I have things that I have to do. Okay. What does feel like to? Well, how do you get this part off? Oh, like this. Well, something's shaking this too. Put my camera on right here in front of me. Do. Oh, okay. So this part go at the bottom. Okay. I'm sitting over here just struggling. Yes, honey. Yeah. Period. No more broken camera. All right, you guys. So I'm about to edit this video to get it up for you guys. I love y'all so much. Let me put this over my lens. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I love y'all so, so, so much. And I'll see you with my next one.